And I wondered if you could talk to us about how organizations can improve stakeholder engagement and buy-in to their materiality assessment. Yeah, for sure. So I've been on both sides of the spectrum. So been asking for advice and giving and responding to surveys. So I think first and foremost is share the results of your materiality assessments with your stakeholders and welcome feedback and continue the conversation. So your materiality assessment was just the first step. Next, once you're going to start figuring out a strategy um, for your ESG programs and journey, you're going to really still want to lean on your um, stakeholders. So, you know, this materiality assessment is a really good way to start developing those relationships because one thing I know from being a sustainability manager is that relationships are key right so you're getting to build rapport with your stakeholders um, next put your insights into action so practice what you preach so incorporate your findings into your sustainability strategy and remember that everything comes that comes up on your materiality assessment is ex expected to be managed, right? So again, when we do the prioritization, we do tend to focus on, you know, the low hanging fruit or the short term um, kind of uh, topics. But just remember that even the long term, less prioritized topics, your, some of your stakeholders, maybe not all of them are interested in them. So remember to deliver on that. And then, like I had mentioned earlier, just regularly repeat the process because this is going to help you identify the fast moving and changing topics um, for your organization. And that will help you get ahead um, and make sure that you're being more proactive and forward thinking. <laughs> 